One of the questions I get quite often is, how can I get started with NLP? NLP is quite a wide topic and it includes a lot of different types of techniques and methods in itself. But here is a list of things that are high level that you should familiarize yourself with to get started with NLP. Number one is text pre-processing. This includes techniques like tokenization, stemming, and lemmatization, which are used to clean and prepare text data for analysis. Then you should probably take a look at NLP libraries and frameworks. There are several libraries and frameworks available for NLP tasks, and some of them are NLTK, Spacey, and Core NLP. These libraries have pre-trained models and provide a wide range of NLP functionality, such as part of speech tagging, named entity recognition, and sentiment analysis, so things that you would not have to implement from scratch by yourself. Then you can look into machine learning if you're not already familiar with it, because NLP often involves training machine learning models on text data. So a good understanding of machine learning concepts and how machine learning models are trained are essential. Once you get a bit more advanced, you can look into word embeddings. These are a way of representing words as numerical vectors, which allows the machine to understand the meaning behind the words in a way. The most popular word embeddings are word to vec glove, and BERT. And then you can look into deep learning. Of course, deep learning is a really big topic in itself, so you shouldn't just dive into deep learning and learn everything there is to know about it, but you should probably learn about the state-of-the-art models that are achieving really good performance with NLP tasks. And it is good to have a basic understanding of deep learning frameworks such as TensorFlow, PyTorch, or Keras. One other thing you can take a look at is language modeling. With language modeling, we have been seeing great results in NLP tasks. And a language model is basically a model that has the ability to holistically understand language in a better way. These models are trained on placeholder tasks such as next token prediction or masked language modeling, but at the end they are used for other tasks such as question answering. But make sure to take a look at them and understand on a high level how they work. As I said, NLP is a broad topic and it is evolving every single day. So this list is just a beginning, but don't get overwhelmed. Take it step by step and make sure to learn all of these concepts to a certain degree. If you want me to make a specific in-depth video about any of these though, let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.